I think the best way to make real lasting kind of mindful and deep change in your life, it's about making a whole bunch of small right moves. It's like a, a muscle, it's like going to the gym and doing a bit every day. You're not gonna get dramatic change overnight, but it happens by shifting the brain chemistry. And you do that with a small move one at a time. So you kind of sit back and you watch what changes as you shift in this direction and this direction. And, and gradually you'll see the synapses in your brain will start to shift and you'll see life differently. The three things that I do that are nice and close and I can do them every day, therefore I'll actually do them. I meditate, not fancy, 20 minutes. Eyes closed, I don't try to achieve anything, but it makes a difference. The second thing I do is I cook. And the third thing is I walk. I walk everywhere, I don't own a car. Walking goes at the same pace as discerning thought and we live in such a mad world where everything goes too fast for us to get a real grip of what matters in life. When we walk, we get into a space where we can process all of that. I've just published the world's first zero food waste cookbook. If food waste was a nation, it would be the third biggest CO2 emitter after China and America. The good news is that the biggest contributors to food waste is us, the consumer. So we don't have to wait for governments to change or legislation to change to affect industry. We can make the change ourselves. And I think people find that super empowering. We work with really sustainable ingredients which are available around the world. We work with meal plans so that you buy a shopping list and all of those ingredients get used. Every last broccoli stalk chia seed gets used from that shopping list before you then go and start on the next one. The book's called Simplicious Flow because it's all about making your life elegant and putting it into this sort of perpetual flow where it does make life better. I don't think I'd be here today if I hadn't experimented in a gentle way with wellness. I'm healthier now than I was 10 years ago. I wouldn't have been able to build the business and, and write the books that I have if I hadn't been well and I hadn't done these experiments. Without my meditation, my walking and the food that I cook, I wouldn't be able to contribute. Wellness is something that is the grounding for everything that I do today.